Hundreds of tech companies are showcasing their very latest products right down the street at CES. One of them is a local software development company innovating the way the vision industry sees eye diseases. 8 News Now reporter Lauren Negretti has a closer look. You'll notice that it's eye tracks. High tech, painting a clearer picture of vision loss. And we're able to effectively put you through the eyes of someone living with an eye disease like glaucoma or macular degeneration. And we use that today for universities teaching the next generation of doctors, uh, recently diagnosed patients so they can better understand their disease, as well as loved ones and family members. VisionAid's eye disease simulator uses mixed reality to educate and show what it looks like to live with an eye disease. So here's 2020 vision, regular, and here's how someone with a severe case of glaucoma would see. Spiegel says they have simulations for eye diseases, including glaucoma, age-related macular degeneration, and diabetic retinopathy. Roseman University uses their headset to show the impacts of diabetes in the community and within their simulator lab. We started this because our co-founder's grandfather uh, started suffering from macular degeneration. And so we saw firsthand the impact that that had on his life. Several people peering through the headset. There's two circles in the middle of my eye, well, one for each eye. Melissa Renee is an accessibility professional. Working within, you know, the space in which we're designing products for people, the more awareness that we have, the more uh, experiences we can tap into. I think um, products like this create that memorability so that we can action on it. Spiegel says they began selling internationally last year and are commercially available. Their core market is optometrists, ophthalmologists, and universities. Lauren Negretti, 8 News Now. Now the patent is pending. Vision Aid is working to create more content for other eye diseases. The headset costs $4,000 and is geared toward practitioners and universities.